We know a lot about her, of course, Emmy Award-winning actress so moving as Izzy on Grey's Anatomy. Katherine Heigl in the studio this morning now has another new movie out. It's called The Ugly Truth. And she is here. It's great to see you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Tell me about the <laughs> hair. It's so, it is so different. I know. Are you startled when you look at it? A hair? little bit. Yeah. How are you different in it? I don't know. I don't know if I'm too different as a person because I keep forgetting that it's brunette. So it's passing by the mirror that shocks ah. me. Yeah. Nah. But it was sort of an impromptu decision. I don't know why I did it actually. Yeah. Is this? the real you? No, I'm probably more like a dishwater blonde, which is not yeah. all that exciting. <laughs> so I'm trying to liven it up. So on Grey's Anatomy, you, you are still Izzy, and Izzy is still sick, so your hair right. won't be shown? Well, I'm bald. Yeah, yeah. so it was like in the first time in five years I could actually change my color if I wanted to. So, ah. so I decided to just go for it. And you are back. You I are back. back. Yeah. Did you always know? Yeah, I knew. Well, I certainly knew when we ended last season yeah. that I, I, was, I would be back. Back. Um, but mid-season, I wasn't too sure. It was looking very grim. <laughs> uh, Five percent survived the diseases yeah, he has. Yeah. So, so you're back to 17-hour days. I saw David Letterman <laughs> yeah. last night. I'm gonna go home. And yeah, gonna you're be walking so mad around with your placard, <laughs> free the Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say you get no sympathy here, I by know. the way, for 17-hour days, oh, I Missy. <laughs> I know it's this whole film business. No one gets it. <laughs> no one wants to feel sorry for you. I know. I'll feel sorry for me. It's fine. <laughs> okay. uh, I want to talk about the new movie, which comes out on Friday, yeah, June, uh, July 24th. It is called The Ugly Truth. And now you are a TV producer, yes. a television show, not unlike, <laughs> although unlike ours, and a little uptight. Yes. In comes Mike, yes. who, who joins the show to comment on men and women and all things about them. <laughs> yeah. And let's take a look at a clip. Hi. Hey. Wow, you look great. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's just doing the dishes. So what happened to you today? What do you mean? Well, you put me on hold and you never called me back. Was that you? <laughs> yeah. So sorry. It's okay. Uh, Colin, would you mind actually giving me a call a little bit later? I'm just so busy, gotta get back to those dishes. Abby, wait. Right now, make them suffer. Make them suffer. Suffer. Abby, I was wondering if you'd like to go to the Devil's Game with me on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make him suffer. <laughs> anyway, you, this is out there. Some of this, I just, you know, we got to let everybody know before you yeah, take before your Yeah, before going, it is rated R, so Good. for a reason. Oh, fair. <laughs> did you say, how, what did you think going through it? Did you say too much, nah, how do I feel? I it's I love raunchier humor. It's just I don't know why. I think we're around a lot of boys all the time, and uh, I just thought it was super funny. and. We were having a really good time with it, and uh, I kind of wanted to do something that I felt both the boys and the girls would enjoy, you know? So I got sick of hearing my husband complain about chick flicks, so decided to do something a little edgier. <laughs> you say that not quite committed there. <laughs> edgier! I know, trying not to sell it like a porn or something. It's <laughs> not that bad. It's just uh, a little raunchy. Okay, now a group of, uh, a group of young people around here ask me some questions for you in the rocket round. Are you ready for your I'm sort ready. of one word quick answers? Oh God. When a little kid, what did you want to be? An actor. <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah. And I want to tell everybody, I'm using this microphone, not because I'm going to sing a tune no, that I've always wanted to sing to you, <laughs> because my mic just went out. Uh, what first attracted to you to your husband? Uh, his confidence. He was very confident. Very it's sexy. Because you were saying you didn't follow the rules in this movie. No. No. When you met him, you bought the ring. You know why I didn't buy the ring? Oh, I thought you went out. And, I thought <laughs> I, you went out. And I picked designed it. it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yes, there is a difference. I'll accept that as a difference. Okay. Favorite late night treat. Favorite late night treat. I'd say uh, Ben and Jerry's, for sure. I'm not sure which one. It could mm -hmm. be any different one at any different time. And sneakers or stilettos? Stilettos. <laughs> stilettos? Yeah. 
I just, nothing looks better than a good pair of stilettos. Yeah. <laughs> so you produced this movie as well. I did. My mother and I with, uh, executive produced it, yeah. With your mom. What yeah. is that like to do this movie with your mom? It was great. I think that she and I, I mean, we've been doing this together for 20 years, so um, we've been sort of had that out in the ether, the, the idea of someday getting to produce, and this was the first project we had that opportunity, and it was wonderful, I mean, to just have an inch more say, an inch more control is really nice. <laughs> Producing, acting, doing TV as well. Go take a nap. Oh, I'm going to, thanks. <laughs> Catherine Heigl, The Ugly Truth, comes out on Friday, July 24th. We'll be back. Thanks.